to the 200th episode of The Follow-Up. I'm Eden, and this is my dad, Noah, and for the past four years now, we've been sitting on my bed and having a conversation about whatever we want to talk about, and it started when I was five, now I'm nine and a half. You used to do a podcast called The Follow-Up, mm -hmm. where you would just have a meaning co meaningful conversation with someone. Yep. When I was five, I asked you if I could join, and we could do a podcast together. And this is how this all evolved. Now, we've come so far, and we've talked about everything, whatever's on our mind. And here we are now, at the 200th episode. Yeah, it is, it is pretty wild. And in the archives of the audio version of the podcast, <clears throat> you can go back and listen to all those previous episodes of the follow-up before you were on. So I would just have these 8 to 15 minute conversations with people from all walks of life, <clears throat> just ask one question, and then follow up to show yeah. that you could have a meaningful conversation by simply listening and then asking the right questions. And it doesn't have to be this hour long conversation. Yeah. And then you were on when you were turning three and four, sometimes we would do vacation yes. recaps and those are great to go back and those listen to. Those are so, some of the ones for my birthday when I was like three were so funny. So you can go back and listen to those in the archives and then we'd put them on video through a company called Vocal with Ted Price, and that was so great that we, we turned on the camera, and now a bunch of those for the past, I'd say 50, 60 episodes yeah. maybe are on are on YouTube now. Yeah. But you can still go back and listen to all those other ones, starting with our first one together yes. in April of I think we released we recorded in April, we released it in June of 2020 yes. during the pandemic about like. Coronavirus and what's going on. I think that, that was our first one, right? That was our first one. We did and it from, our, from your grandparents' yeah. basement when we left New York for a few months. And I remember our second one, if anybody wants to learn, it was talking about, we taught people how to play Crazy Eights. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Yeah. It was, those were a lot of fun. Yeah. And we interviewed mom. Yes. At one point mom. in the basement. Yes. But for the, you know, I'd say 99% of these episodes, we are sitting right here with the elephants yes. in the background on your bed. And I think in the video ones, even, like, you can see the changes on my wall. Like, oh, yeah. when you were going through them, like, I had, like, a space poster, like, that was, like, over there. Mm -hmm. My Taylor Swift, like, mm -hmm. one. And it's funny even just to see how, like, this my bed has changed even. Yeah, we've gotten some more, you've gotten some more stuffed animals. Yes. <laughs> um, there's you know, the, the NBC pillow. They're different. Yeah, you can tell based on what has gone on on your bed about how old you are, yeah. really. And so we're going to put out this podcast, and then... Another one that is, I just went through a whole bunch of clips, and I'm going to teach you how to do this too. Yeah. Went through a whole bunch of clips, and from maybe it was like two or three from each year, and put them together, and that'll be a, a special, a special yes. so celebrating awesome. 200 episodes of yes. the podcast going. And I, what I did was I didn't use any of the ones. I don't think I used any of the ones from when we weren't on the bed. So it all just shows, or maybe some from the very, very beginning, maybe some from the very first one, but then the rest of them are on the bed so you can yeah. see just how you've grown, which is really nice. And that's mm -hmm. been one of the nicest things, just yeah. this time capsule yeah. that we have together, mom has, grandparents have, just of you and, and us yeah. and yeah. growing and doing something together. And I think it's cool to see even just how our topics have grown from the coronavirus to things happening at school. I mm -hmm. think going back to see what we were talking about before, even how my voice has changed is crazy. You still yeah. sound the same when you have a stuffy nose, though. Yes, I do. <laughs> you have yes. a stuffy nose. <laughs> yeah, and the coming into to this episode, we I'd asked you, I said, all right, I want you to write down a few things that I won't look at, and I'll write down some as well, that why this podcast together is meaningful like why do you enjoy doing this yeah so let's let's okay. start let's start with that and I so give me give me something from from your list that uh that you find so meaningful about this podcast I think it's that we talk about what's on our minds and especially when we talk about hard serious topics or when we talk about things that happen at school with me that if I'm having a hard time I think in those podcasts we want to talk about yes what's happening but we also want to help others like just like so we give some tips so others feel can like maybe if they're going through this can this can help them or 
like we just want to with these podcasts we guess that other people have this have some at least someone in the world has the same thing on their mind and I think it's nice to just share some things that are on our minds to the world yeah I mean I, I oftentimes will read I mean I've talked to you plenty about just how difficult parenting is and there's nothing to do with you as a kid just parenting parenting is hard and so I'll read a ton listen to a ton watch a ton of different things and I'll send you different I'll, sometimes I'll send you things like hey this is what I was reading about parenting or this age and so that you can relate to what we're thinking about and so by us talking about things that are going on in school or school shootings or the coronavirus yeah. or um, the election or, or just things that yeah. things that are major stories that maybe other parents don't know that want to talk to their kids about but maybe don't know how and so just like we look to others for certain um, pathways yeah. then I think I've had a bunch of friends say to me hey like I really appreciated you talking about Eden losing her first tooth because my child was afraid of losing their tooth that it was yeah. going to be too painful I think something that we love is just helping others by just having a 15 minute 10 minute conversation just a simple conversation but that can be so helpful to someone else but also, I think it's helpful. It's certainly helpful to the two of us. Yes, it is. Yeah. Just talking, even. Yeah, and and there are certain things that, you know, even more so recently, that I want you to go back and listen to your own words, because when you listen to yourself say it, like you've said it, but then you're listen, maybe listening to it again will even further resonate with you. Like, yes, I was feeling this. This is what I said. This is how I'm gonna get through something. But I, want, I need to hear it from my own voice again. Yeah. yeah. I also think it's a it's a it's a great way to um, to bond. Like we yeah. have this is something that we do every usually every Sunday. Yeah, and we just record just this podcast and we and we think through the week just what we want to talk about mm -hmm. and we just have a great conversation every week. Yeah, and it's something for. For us, that we that yeah. we share, we do a lot and, of things. We yeah. do a lot of things as a family. You do a lot of things with different with other people, and I have other friends, etc. But this is something that is that this is ours. Yeah, and, it's and nice. I look forward to this every week because mm -hmm. I know, like, I think about it. I get excited to have these just short but meaningful conversations mm -hmm. every week. Yeah, you sound like you're writing the description to the podcast: short but meaningful conversations. Well, that's, that's true. Yeah, I think that's that, true. I think that is a very accurate mm -hmm. description. I also I also like the idea of you understanding the the commitment that okay if we're going to do this, then I've always said look if you don't want to do this anymore we don't have to do it anymore, but you feel a commitment yeah. to it and you're sticking with it. Yeah. So there are a lot of things that in life that you might say nah, I don't want to do this anymore or. Um, I wasn't that good at that, so I don't want to do it anymore. But this is a matter of a commitment, and you're sticking to it. And also, like, getting through other things. Like, all right, so uh, you want to get better at tennis. Okay, well, then stick with it yeah. and make it a commitment and make it a priority to get better. Or anything, or anything. I was just throwing out some something athletic. So I, I think the commitment is important as well. Yeah, and kind of adding on to that, I think when I was when when I was five, just like starting it, I think another goal was improving my conversation skills, learning how to ask good questions, mm -hmm. uh, just have a good, decent conversation with someone. So what I what I would want is <clears throat> for you to continue that in in real life, and that's yeah. what we we had talked about that it was building conversation skills, listening, and what I want you to continue doing is feeling comfortable asking questions and to friends, to adults, so that you're not you're not having a conversation and it's just like a one-way conversation. Yeah. They're just talking. Or that afterwards you're not asking us, like, oh, why did they do this? Or why did they say, like, just ask. Just ask. Just ask. And, also, no. and, being, and also being the first one in the conversation to say, like, oh, like, where did you go for dinner last night? Or, um, oh, did you, have a, did you have a good time yesterday? Or what did you like about, what did you like about this? Like, you're, especially in your, your generation, 
of, and it's not just with adults, but with, with kids more so, that there's fewer and fewer face-to-face type conversations, yeah. like with the spoken word. And whether or not someone's used to having those types of conversations or not, inherently, humans, we want to have that human interaction. So yeah. if you can be the we leader... Like to see people. Yes, and if you can be the leader in having those conversations with people, yeah. you're going to be you're going to be one that other people want to be around because like you're interested in you're interested in people and you you can ask the questions and add on to like oh, if they say something about dancing or basketball or books, you can say, "Oh yeah, I read all those those Judy Bloom books. Like this one was my favorite. Like which one was yours?" "Oh, oh, you like Judy Bloom? Like have you ever read and then you know, another author so that that you are active in these conversations. And it's never bad to be curious. It's, there's technically no wrong question. No bad question, No right. bad question, mm-hmm. really. If you want to know something, just ask the question. I feel like there's no really bad question that you can't, that's like forbidden to ask. Right. Yeah, and, and I think on that note that this is a, the things that we talk about, it's teaching, you teaching me, me teaching you, yeah. without it feeling like a lesson. Exactly. It's it's not like I'm in school and I'm like, well, eight plus one yeah. is nine. I'm not teaching you. Guys you guys are past that, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not teaching you a math. Like I'm not teaching you a lesson that's like boring. Yeah, I teach. Like we're teaching each other something, but in a different way mm-hmm. that makes it interesting to listen to for listen to each other for other people to listen to Mm -hmm. and I think it's a fun way just to talk about this yeah what I also think is interesting is that so we were with one of your we were with one of your friends last night and who said I've I've listened to some of your podcasts and he's like oh thanks like that's nice and like which ones and yeah she's texting me about some of them that she's listened to some of them yeah so but you never tell your friends oh I have a a podcast no she found out because i was scrolling up by spotify and she saw it <laughs> oh, okay so what i do want to and, and that is yeah. totally fine with me i want to i do want to know it because that is a that's a conscious effort by you not to tell somebody yeah that's all why honestly i don't know i don't it's just like I have my I own feel theories, like it's not I, like my own personality, just like to tell someone, oh, I do a podcast with my dad, right. it's on YouTube, it's on Spotify, la la la. Yep. Like, I agree. It's just right. like, I you, just don't. Like, I mean, it's not like bragging, but I mean, like, I could just say I do a podcast, like, if you want to listen to it, it's on YouTube or Spotify. Yes. But, okay. So I think. It's just not me to this say is, that. So this is exactly what, this is exactly what I was thinking. You see. You hear other kids say like, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. And the tone of voice is bragging. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't, and you don't, and you don't like that. And oftentimes you'll just say, okay, oh, cool. Like, I, okay. I, you you kind of just, you yeah. just go along with it. You, um, it's called humoring them. Like, oh, cool. Like, yeah, it's, that's great. And you might even think it's cool, but you don't like their, their tone of voice. Yeah. So you are very conscious of anything coming off as bragging and something that, uh, that Grandpa suddenly told me when I was a little kid was I would never forget we were on the boardwalk in Atlantic City okay. Okay? and we were with uh, I think we were, we were with the Wieners we were with like Hope and Stacy and I think Gary was there too um, Carol and I just we, we Dad and I Grandpa and I just played Papa Shop oh, and wow. I broke the record on the, the machine. Oh, no. And when I came out, I told, like, Gary, I think, and Hope and Stacy, and, and they were like, oh, that's awesome. And then I started walking with Grandpa, and he said, um, said I know you're, that you're really proud of what you did. Something to remember is it always sounds better when someone else speaks of your achievements mm-hmm. more than ahead of, ahead of you. Yeah. And that stuck with me. And there's no way, so Grandpa's going to see this, and he's like, uh, oh, okay, that was pretty good parenting advice. But yeah, there's no way, there's no way he remembers that. But it's something that has always, that has always stuck with me. I might have been around, I, I don't know, maybe I was between your age and maybe 12 at that point. So, um, 
so I think that that is something that is in you, because I, I know I've told you that as well. But it is okay to, like, bring up in, in conversation. Yeah, like, I mean, I could say it without bragging about it. Yeah. Like, oh, I do a podcast with my dad. Just, like, you could say it like that, even. Yeah, like, if someone's doing icebreakers or tell yeah. me something about you that we would never know. Like, I could. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, I could in that situation. Mm-hmm. I mean... But, I mean, it's not like me to just, like, say it. I right, I understand. Yeah. Or, like, some of the cool experiences you may have had at sporting events or this, that. Like, you don't... But you can bring them up in conversation. In like, the oh, right time. Exactly. And finding that right time is 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 part of growing up and, and maturity and reading and reading other people. But I don't want you to be... Um, I don't want you to, to hold it back and, no, I, hold, I want you to be to, to find those moments yeah. to um, to just to mention that you're not, yeah. but you're not bragging. But, not about bragging. It. but you've you've always been very conscious of that, which I've appreciated. But there are times you can just you know drop something in. Yeah. Okay. Um, so two hundred episodes means we have done this pretty much every single week for the past four years. Pretty much every single. Week. Right. Our longest break was last summer when you were away, and yeah. it's going to be the same thing this year, or about six weeks. And so in another 200 episodes, you're going to be a teenager. Yeah. Okay. So That's got, crazy. So, so I've got a few questions about that. One, well, who knows, will we still living in this apartment? Who knows? Mom and I think about it all the time. But anyway, if we are here, yes. will you have the elephants on your wall at 13? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I I don't even know how to think about that. In four, in four years, if I'm gonna have those on my wall, I have no idea. In four years, you're gonna yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be 13 years old. Can you even? Is there anything that comes to mind right now? I have, we didn't prep this at all, but is there anything that comes to mind right now that you think? Well, at 13. I'm going to be doing this, and we might be talking about this. No, because I have no idea what's going to happen in the future. Like, I have no idea. I might, I have no idea what I'll be doing then in four years. Do you think our topics, I mean, starting middle school next year, do you think yeah, our topics might change? You're starting a new school next year, so our topics will will probably change. Probably a, a little bit about some of them, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but a new school, new kids, new environment, new curriculum, Probably about that kind of the thing. school topics, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. One of my favorite things, though, is how every one of these podcasts ends, and that is a hug and a kiss. Yes. And so when I've gone back and watched a bunch, and I put out this clip, too. It's an awesome video. Of just over the years of you, of the two of us just saying, I love you, and then you're saying, I love you, and, and a hug and a kiss, and that's, then that's that. Yeah. And I think it's a, a beautiful way to yeah. end every conversation, just like we do, no matter what has happened during the day, yeah. I, I, when you go to bed, I'm always, like, I'm always going to give you a hug and a kiss, say, yeah. I love you, I'm proud of you, and that's that. Okay. Well, here's to 200 more episodes. Yep. I'm really proud of you, and I love you. Love you.